to make a beetle bot, the first thing you'll need to do is collect all your materials. Here's everything you'll need to make your beetle bot. Three paper clips, two small DC motors, a AA battery pack for two batteries, a couple spade connectors, a piece of bendable sheet metal, some shrink wrap tubing, solder, electric wire, two momentary switches, a small bead, plus a few tools like small screwdrivers, a soldering iron, and a glue gun. Start by straightening out two paper clips, and then slip them into the spade connectors and solder them in. Next, you should drill a hole in the end of your battery box without the red and black wires. Slip the stripped end of a wire through and bend it down so it makes contact with the metal, then solder that into place and put your batteries in. Now you've created a positive and negative current coming from the battery pack. If you use a voltmeter and connect the black wire, you'll get a reading of positive 1.6 volts. Connect the red wire and you'll get a negative 1.6 volts. Connect the wires to a motor and you'll see it turns one direction for the red wire and another direction for the black. Now take some of the shrink tubing and slip it over the motor gear. You can use soldering iron to shrink it on. Cut off the extra. Do the same for the second motor. And now your wheels have tread to get around. Now hot glue your two momentary switches on the battery pack at an angle. Make sure the two normally closed contacts are touching. It should look like this. Take that piece of metal and bend it over the battery pack like this with the overhanging flaps about the length of the a motor. And hot glue that on. Watch out, it will be hot. Now you're going to glue your two motors on, making sure they're even and that the electric contacts are on the upside. When you put the cover of the battery pack back on, you should be able to look and make sure the BeetleBot's belly is not touching the ground. Take another paper clip and bend it with the bead so it looks like this. Glue it on the battery pack like this so that the bead connector is the balancing rear wheel. Solder those normally closed contacts together and your beetle watch should look something like this. Strip a little two inch piece of copper wire. And use it to connect the two normally open switch contacts. Two more short pieces of wire and use them to connect the positive contact from one motor to the remaining switch contact on one side. And the negative contact from the other motor to the last switch contact on that side. Cut one more longer wire to connect the two remaining motor contacts. And make sure everything is soldered into place. Your beetle walk's almost done and it should look like this. Finally, take the red positive wire from the battery pack and solder it onto the two normally closed contacts. And solder the black negative wire to one of the normally open contacts. Slip a little piece of shrink tubing over each antenna and solder them onto the switches. Shape them and now your beetle bot has feelers. If you find that your beetle bot is front heavy, you can glue a washer onto the back. To give your beetle bot its shell, take a lid and dr drill a couple of holes for wires to come through. You could glue it to the body, but I attached mine by drilling through the battery pack and running a bolt through. Put the batteries in and the cover back on. Slip your two green wires through the holes. These will be your on-off switch.
Then screw a nut onto the bolt to hold the shell on. Draw on a few spots and let her on. When the beetle ball bumps into something with its feelers, it will turn and go a different direction. This is because the feeler will switch the connection to the battery and reverse the direction of the wheel on that side. As soon as the antenna is free, the beetle ball will go straight again. The beetle ball is great for freaking out cats and dogs, but for the best use, scaring grandmothers! <laughs> <laughs>